Hello there pregnant ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a self massage on your pregnant belly. This video is made especially for the first and the second trimester, so if you're in the third or you feel like your belly is bigger, then try this video here especially for the third trimester. So although we're not very far in our pregnancy, there is already a lot happening in the body. The bone structure is changing. And also there's a lot happening inside in the organs that we can't really see from the outside. And all this might just be causing you some growing pains which leave you sleepless at night and feeling stiff throughout the day. Clearly, these symptoms can be dealt with by movement. There are also lots of videos on that. Feel free to roam my libraries. But some of the tension needs some like pressure points, some like acupressure massage type techniques to let that tension go. You've also got to think of the things that are occurring in your mind. There's a lot of worry and anxiety it also translates down to your body. It's taking the time to give yourself a little self-massage can really help you. Before you get your hands all oily, make sure to subscribe to not miss anything and make sure to go through my libraries. Not only movement and yoga, but also helpful information that will guide you through your pregnancy safely. Now let's not waste any more time, let's get going. Before we get going, make sure you're wearing some old clothes or you tuck them away generously. Maybe add a towel into your pants just to avoid getting the oil all over. Roll down your pants as far as you can. I'm leaving them a bit further up for this video because, you know, we're on YouTube. You want to have them at least beneath your hip bones. Grab an oil of your choice and just start by applying a small amount. We don't want things to get too slippy or else the effects won't be the same. Rub your hands for a bit to get them all warm. You don't want cold hands on your belly and then just start to spread the oil, already applying some pressure with your hands on the rub. So you want it to be easy to rub, but not too slippery. So if you feel like you need to apply some more oil. Once your belly is all rubbed up, Use the rest that you have on your hands and just bring it to the back of your spine, getting into that tailbone area and as far along up the spine as you can with your hands. We're going to start by bringing your hands up along your sides as far as you can underneath your breast line. Then begin to, with some pressure, Pull your hands in towards your midline along your ribs, like giving your ribs a massage, then conducting the same movement, wandering down along the side of your body. Then starting back at the top underneath your boobs and just bringing the same movement down along the sides. Continue with this movement in the middle-ish of your belly. Try getting the palms of your hands in between your rib cage and your hips. There's like a little groove. Just move along that with quite some pressure. If this feels good to you and you wish to intensify, start using your thumbs to rub along your spine. Whilst putting quite some pressure in your thumbs, start focusing on your front side fingers also massaging above your hips. Let's do some multitasking here. But the main focus is on the back at the moment. We concentrate so much on our front side body that we forget that the back side is actually holding it. If you feel like you want to move on, then try doing the same along your tailbone as far down as you can. Still focusing with the front fingers along the top of your hip. If this doesn't feel like you're relieving anything, then try doing it again after a walk or after a little warm up, a little yoga session. There is a lot of tension in this area during pregnancy. Now let's start to bring our focus back to the front side body. You can get your hands further down than I can. Just begin to 
rub along the bottom edge of your belly starting with the fingertips on one side and then gliding them across the belly alternating from side to side cradling your belly you can go as fast or as slow as you wish there's no right no wrong just try and keep your belly completely relaxed when you feel like you've had enough try bringing your fingertips up along the side creating the same movement but with a u-shape along the edges of your belly so a u-shape glide from side to side it can be harder to maneuver so sometimes it's just best to close your eyes now that the belly has relaxed a bit we're going to try and concentrate back on pulling the ribs in toward one another with our hands crossing your fingers up at the top in the middle again you can go as slow or as fast as you wish just do what feels good and if you feel like you need to linger in some places longer then do so now we're going to do the same for the bottom part of the belly you can use either your thumbs and just cross them over at the bottom or you can use your fingers as so it doesn't matter which side goes up again here is just about feeling that pulling in towards one another slowly begin to bring your awareness back to the side edges of your belly see if anything has changed and just do whatever feels good until we meet by just running your fingers along your belly like it was a little balloon you can continue doing this or bringing your hands onto your belly and conducting circles like a circular stirring movement best clockwise for digestion reasons slowly coming to an end with the circles begin to just pull your belly the base of your belly upwards as if you want to relieve the weight you can go further down you can start from further at the bottom I just can't get there with the pants which also feels really relieving as you may be noticing this is also a great arm workout don't worry we will be cutting them some slack soon let's begin to focus on the area just above the hip bone and begin to stroke with your fingertips upward with quite some pressure alternating from hand to hand prepare to switch sides do the same on the other side now this side may feel different which is totally normal so this was kind of it with the belly massage we're going to do one last thing but I just wanted to remind you to remember to maybe next time pull your pants down a little bit especially if your belly is growing things feel so much better I'm just restricted here with my pants on YouTube so for this one last thing that we're gonna do it's not really part of the massage but it feels really good bringing your hands up to the top of your ribcage then just pressing pulling them inwards so if you're trying to pull your ribcage in toward one another and then just conduct deep breaths feeling the tension melt with every breath So we are finished I encourage you to go back and do the things that felt best to you and remember to try them out as time goes by again and again because with the changing body also your needs will change don't forget that movement can also help you relieve a lot of tension so don't forget to check out my movement libraries down below there is also an upcoming video on a five minute movement you can do every day for those days in your pregnancy where you don't feel like moving it will also end up in the library make sure to check in it's growing every week 
Next week there will be a video on a breast massage as your rib cage expands and your boobs grow. There can also be some hidden tension there which we want to get rid of. So don't forget to subscribe to not miss anything and oh, leave a like if you found this video helpful. I'll see you next week. Enjoy the rest of your pregnancy. From my heart to yours and your babies, namaste. Thank you.